Yes, recording is now in progress. Recording Episode 152, we're here, with boy. My, with my brisk. And I'm here with my Kirkland water. water. <laughs> this is what Not pops trying to advertise home. here, but yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is what Pops brought home, my guy. Oh, for you? He's like, here, take a brisk with lemonade. He brought a bunch home at 710 milliliters. Oh, it's okay. a big can, my guy. It's a jumbo can. <laughs> Straight out the fridge, a lie. It's bigger than your. It's bigger than my head, man. I know. <laughs> <laughs> Don't kill me, bro. No, it's good still. It's good. It's yeah, like, yo. So yeah, it's, episode um, one brisk zero we here, yo. Oh, excuse me. Oh no, 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 no. It was just greeting the listeners who just oh. pressed play. Press play. Yeah. yeah. So yeah, we back episode one fifty two out of control podcast. Podcast DJ Kirkland nine, Water one. with the brisk lemonade. Now playing the brisk lemonade. <laughs> Saying what I'm drinking versus what he's drinking. <laughs> yeah, DJ Nine One with the real Matt Lore. Lore AK podcast Poppy AKA the brisk lemonade Poppy. Yeah, go ahead, take a sip. I'm gonna need some water while I drink while I while I pod. Not bad still. I never tried their lemonade before. I've tried their iced tea, but I'm not really an iced no, tea it's person not, anymore. It's, it's not lemonade, bro. It's just... Oh, just lemonade-flavored iced tea, right? No, it's or just not lemonade. lemonade iced tea, just whatever lemonade. it is. It's just whatever, brisk iced tea. It's not no lemonade. Oh, okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. So, yeah. Trash. So, yeah. Some Trash. updates from last week. Yeah. I hope you guys... Um, I uh, for those who were listening last week, yeah, when I said that the new job that I got that same week was a good waste place to work at, I take those. It's back. a trash place to work. Yeah, at. I quit that job. I'm no longer <laughs> at that job, bro. Fuck that place. <laughs> when I found out from the other people working there, when they said they gave no benefits, I'm like, what the fuck? Okay, say no more. I'm quitting. Uh did you look at the link I sent you? Yeah, what's it called? Like you sent me a job posting for a part time job with UPS. Yeah, I the timing is fucked up. But the thing the said night shift. I'm like, nah, forget that. I'm not a night Man shift said, person. Sir, it's six no. hours, bro. Six? No, I'm not doing no night shift. Fuck that. It's I'd not, it, bro. It's in the morning. Day. It's not night Yo, shift. No, nothing. I'm not going to no night shift job. Okay, bro. Make sixteen dollars <laughs> an hour, my guy. Make sixteen dollars an hour. And what's it's it only... called? Like the job said, seventeen an hour to start, and you have Ooh. to work forty eight months to make the. The $30, 30, 30 bucks a uh No, well, uh, where did it say hour. that? Are you sure it said that, my guy? Are you yeah, sure? Yeah, because I can read, unlike some people. <laughs> it said starting 30, so. No, it didn't say starting at 30. Yes, it it did. said starting at 17. No, it didn't. You, you have might, to work you, a few years to get the $30 an wish, hour. You wish, my guy. You wish. Raise. You wish. Nope, I know. <laughs> read Anyways, it over, my you guy. you were probably looking a... at the wrong one. Oh, Here's no, it a... was the same one. Here's how much money I have left in my bank account. It's uh nine cents from Casino Woodbine. <laughs> I don't know if you could see it. Yeah. No, it's like going on with the blur. Yeah, I can't really, I can't see it all with the blur. The there you go. Cash. Oh, nine cents, Ross Clot. Big baller. <laughs> <laughs> Man won ninety percent of a nickel. <laughs> Not good enough. <laughs> yeah, yo. Well, yeah, what's it called? So, yeah, I'm just a free free agent right now in the job market because it goes to show that the job market in Southern Ontario is pretty trash. <laughs> well, yeah, but uh, the job still needs to give you three breaks, my guy. Exactly. Yo, bro, tell me how we only supposed to get one break. They're telling us one break. One. Like, I understand maybe break, like that's it. Like, because some breaks like give you like two. Some jobs act my mistake because I said some jobs give some breaks give you two breaks. No, yeah, that's yeah, not yeah. What, some jobs I only mean, like give two, you two breaks, yeah. Because even if some jobs give you, like, two breaks, at least they pay you for, like, the last break type thing, Exactly, you know? yeah. But, like, usually but like, the standard is three breaks. A 50-minute break. And, and a 30 before, for lunch. And, and then one another after 15. The, the lunch break. Yeah, yes. But here it's only one break and whatever. And I'm like, okay, so I'm supposed to be on my feet for, like, three and a half, four hours at a time before and after break. And one but freaking... What, but what time was your break, though? Like, in the middle of the day? Well, we said, oh, like, well, for my department, like, the, um, I was told that, oh, like, between a certain time, 12 to 2 is when we have to take our lunch. 12 to 2? You had two-hour break? Oh, no, no, like, just within that time frame. Anytime oh. within 12 o'clock to 2 o'clock is when we take our lunch. Oh, I thought, man, I got, like, a two-hour break. I was nah, like, no, nah, well, if, if we're only going to get one break, I'd rather we get, 
one or two hour break. You know what I mean? No, if anything, they should have just gave you an hour break since they're not giving you the first and second, the first and last break. Exactly. Just give you another 30 minutes. Yeah, exactly. That's what I was told that from like, you know, the guy who I was working with, like, mm. you know, the old 65 year old deaf dude with yeah, the yeah. grumpy attitude. Man mm. was pissing me off, bro. I had had enough. I'm like, nah, I'm not coming back to work to see this guy again. Fuck this shit. <laughs> Wow. Like, I don't need this shit. I'm better than this. You can stay it, here. Um, older white man? Yeah, older white man. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm like, nah, Leave fuck him alone, this shit. my guy. Leave him alone. Yeah, I know. Leave I'm not going to roast it, and I'm not going to mention his name. I'm just saying. <laughs> that was one of the deciding factors in me quitting the job. I'm not, I don't have time for people and their bullshit. So, yeah. <laughs> That's all good, my guy. Yeah, yo, so, something. yep. I'm a free agent. I'm a free agent. Just do Uber. And and wait until a better job comes by. Fuck fuck this shit, yo. <laughs> I don't know. Check indeed. I seen there was a bunch on there still. Yo, I actually applied to like 10, 15 different jobs the whole di- the whole week. Oh really? Yeah. Off indeed? Yeah, indeed. Other websites, everything. Because indeed they were showing a lot like in London. Like Yeah, and I'm done with the warehouse job. Like, yo, fuck warehouse work. I'm done with that shit. No, like I'm like like warehouse work, but at least I don't know. Some of them out there said if um if you have your license for the machines, you get like twenty one, twenty two dollars. Yeah, 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 like for them reach operator jobs. Yeah, like that would be like okay, because at least you're like on the machine, not doing like any heavy lifting. Yeah, yeah, the, yeah, like, stuff I'll, like that. Yeah, yeah, but at least it's like over seventeen bucks. You know? Oh yeah, definitely, definitely. Yeah. You know? So yeah, but of course, but yeah, I, like. We, but I'd be- laugh if you went to go get like um your machine license and then you ended back up at the same place oh fuck that place <laughs> no, yeah no, and i'll expose the company to... no, 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 but that's be the funny. name of the place <laughs> no no but that would it would be pretty funny <laughs> yeah i'll be like fuck no no i ain't going back there fuck that shit especially with no benefits nah i'm, I'm i can't work at a company that doesn't give benefits so you mean fuck even no. the full-time man's over there don't get benefits yo yo dog it's actually a bunch of immigrants and high school students working there i'm like so, yo, what the so hell am i'm I assuming here? they're getting paid in cash i'm assuming yeah you know and plus like yo bro me that's born and raised in this country that's educated i should be able to get something that i went to school for but that's not really the case for most people yeah because even if anything because um uh yes sorry i, was, I forgot what i was gonna say oh yeah what was you gonna say <laughs> No, um, yeah. So basically, like, um, like, so basically, like, anyone, like, they go to college, uni. Yeah. They still can't get because there's yeah, too they many still people can't in get like every job. field. Yeah, they still well, can't get a job. There's too much people in every field, you know. Yeah, exactly. You know, and they're left with warehouse work, general labor work. You know, so people tell us, oh, go to school, get a career, and whatever. Yeah, bro. I've been, so we do I've been that in the, I've and been graduate, in the but we can't get a job in our field. You bro, know, because like, oh, you need experience. Since, like, long time. So how am I supposed to get experience if you don't hire me? You know what I mean? That's what I'm saying. That's and the job market finished, up here in Canada. And then when I went to the trade school for welding, yes, man, there was um, there were some places that were paying like eleven, twelve dollars. I'm like, no, nah, I'm not gonna be there for like a couple of years making eleven dollars when I'm in the factory now, almost making twenty at the exactly. time. Exactly. Like, why am I gonna go back to ten, eleven bucks? Exactly. Like, I understand people said, yeah, you should have went to get the experience to go somewhere else, but I'm like, I'm pretty sure no job is not going to give me like six months experience in welding and give me like 30 bucks an hour. Exactly. That's the fact, bro. That's, that's, that's what I'm that's saying. The thing. Like, it'd be pretty cool if I got a job out of it. Yeah. Because then, because you make like a lot of money, but like I could still do it, but then I'm not going to like risk going back to like minimum wage, you know? Exactly. That's the thing, you know, like yep. financially it's not even worth it because they don't want to pay the graduates that are trying to gain experience in the field they studied for. Like the program wasn't bad. It was still like under 10 K. It was like, maybe five six yeah like it still wasn't bad yeah but still but like they should have it would be nice if they found us like maybe a 20 dollars an hour job at the time or something like that you know exactly especially with this bitch ass inflation going on right now <laughs> well right now but if i got like a 20 dollars an hour job when i was in yeah sheridan that would have been blessed it would have been better than what i was making at best buy you yeah. know yeah, yo. So that's the thing with going to college, you know. Unless uh, if you if you're on OSAP, the only thing that's guaranteed after you graduated more than a job is the debt, the student loan debt. <laughs> yeah, because doesn't the student don't let as soon as you start working? Matt said student don't let. <laughs> no, I said student loan left. No, student I heard you say. Left. I heard you flip the letters. Student don't let. <laughs> so like the student loan. Yeah. Doesn't that start 
when you start working though? Because if you're not working, like, well, um, how are they taking off your debt? Well, actually, shout out to repay the repayment assistant program. I just reapply to that every six months. Yeah. And the government pays down the loan and the interest for me. I get qualified oh. for zero down payment. So you don't have to pay nothing back? So far, no, because like um, it was at 12K and now it went down to 6K. Damn, make it go yeah. down to 2K. Yeah, <laughs> so yeah. So for those that live in Ontario, if you're broke, struggling to, to make loan repayments, repayment assistant program. So then what do you do? You just apply for it? Yeah, but you have to like um, fall under the criteria. Like you have to like make less than a certain monthly income, you know, like and show you? pay stubs. Like you yeah. need to make you or like wherever you live. Yo, no, like you personally. Oh, so it doesn't matter about your parents' income if you're still living at home and shit no, like that. No, not just your income and whatever. If you make under a certain income and show proof of pay stubs that you made that much less. Oh, fuck. They would, they would be like, nah, bro, you ain't the same for you, bro. If, yeah. If I tried to do that. <laughs> yeah, because I know you're Why, taking it at Best what's, Buy. What's, um, what's the criteria for you have to make under a certain amount a month? Yeah, yeah. I think it's like less than 2000 a month. And then like, yeah, if you fall under that criteria... And like you show proof of like that two thousand a month or two thousand yeah. a paycheck. No, a month. Oh, a month. Yes. Oh fuck. Yeah. So yeah, you have to like make less than that. I'll like, show them one, like the and I'll be one. like, yeah, I'm only make nine hundred in a month. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, you have to like submit proof of that, and then oh, you fuck. know you get you get um approved, and it's like no, six that's months. pretty sick though. No, yeah, that's yo, pretty, good is, thing. I is that new or that. that's always been there? It's always been there. Oh, I didn't even know that still. Yeah, yo. So, you know, so, so far, my hat, my, my thanks to that, my debt's been half paid off without me having to put a dollar to so it. So, that's basically the taxpayers, taxpayers' dollars paying for your schooling, eh, fam? I get, yeah, my, yeah, my debt after schooling. <laughs> yeah, thanks, sir. Thanks yeah. for putting my taxes up. Thanks. <laughs> Thank you, sir. <laughs> Thank yeah, you, yo. sir. <laughs> but yeah, enough about us, though. You know, mm. we just regular people trying to, grind through the week and make and make a dollar you know what i mean try to make our yes, bread sir. and butter we just and like shout out yeah. to my brother that does dan creed for giving you that side hustle money you yeah know? oh who who again sorry? my brother uh he has his own company dan crete yeah yeah let's shout him out we got to shout out business owners so dan crete um Could ltd start... right huh yeah what's the name what's the full name of the company for your brother dan, dan crete? crete just dan, dan crete. crete okay okay yes dan crete Yes, if you want all of your concrete done, call Dan Crete. Yeah, hit up Dan Crete. D A N C R E T E. Yes, Dan yeah, Crete. Yeah. yeah. I've been working with them for, what was the last week? No, I mean like two weeks ago, three days in a row. Yeah. Not bad. Not yeah, bad. Yo. And plus, not to mention, he dropped out of high school and became his own boss, started his own business, became an entrepreneur. So yes. it goes to know, it go, I mean, it goes to show you don't need school. Fuck school. <laughs> not like especially if you know like exactly what you're doing bro yeah and like my brother said like he knows like some like big people too right so yeah like obviously his name's out there like yeah. right now he just has his like instagram page but yeah, i told to him to promote the business yeah yeah to promote it but like yeah. he still he said like instagram's helping him and shit but he said like it's more like word of mouth because like people that that know my brother yeah they're like they know his work so obviously they pass it on to like other people right yeah. So like the Instagram is like is still there to like show his work. Yeah. But it's more, as I said, like word of mouth. Like yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, it's like more word of mouth than social media. Yeah. 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 But I told him if anything, um, because uh, because I think he wants to make the flyers for the doors or something like that. Yeah. Like you know, like the flyers people leave at your doors, like it goes yeah. on your it goes hang on, on like the door, your, um, your handles, door handle. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. 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 So we're we're thinking about doing that. I don't know if anything, maybe um like a website or something so 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 if someone doesn't have instagram they have a website for him yeah so like maybe whatever he posts is on instagram will show up on the website type thing yes yeah yeah so that'll be better because like i don't think all old folks have um I'm not saying like really old folks but maybe some people in their 30s and 40s don't have ig and yeah. don't use like social media yeah or even use it you know or even have like a brochure or maybe have photos of what he's done print them out have them in a book or something like that to show yeah because that'll be good as well too so oh yeah for sure definitely so yeah definitely yeah, support matt's bro with his concrete business called dan crete d-a-n yes sir if you know some london if you know if you also know some london men's that need some concrete let us know you'll even drive out to london too 
Bro, anywhere for work, my guy. Anywhere in Southern Ontario. Okay. Anywhere. All right. So yeah. Anywhere. Yeah. Okay. So yeah. Let's get into it. OCP episode 152. Let's get straight into the content, dog. Well, no basketball content except for the draft. Yeah, of course. We gotta get into the draft. So yes, but I didn't watch it because I was at work. Neither I did I. Know. Yeah, I missed it. Uh did um did Shaq's son get drafted in? Oh no, he actually he declared for the draft, but went undraft. He went undrafted, but I heard he signed with the Lakers summer league team. So the summer league, or that's the G League team? Yeah, no, just the summer league team. Oh, to see if he can actually find a spot. Yeah, just like a summer league deal for okay. yeah to play in Las Vegas for the for their. Oh, summer so what league happens team. if they like him? They can sign him after that. I guess so. Well, it depends on because I know, heard Shaq was afterwards. really pissed off at him. Yeah, reason. I heard like about them disagreeing and having conflicts. Because like Shaq whatever. wanted him to stay in high school. Is no, he wanted him to stay in school, right? So yeah, and then Shaq was like, and then um his son was like, no, nah, I'm gonna go into the draft, and like Shaq got really pissed off. Really? I don't yeah. get why he would get pissed off about his son taking a chance on himself to try get into the NBA. That's what you I'm know? saying. Like if Shaq knows his son's good, like why can't like you be like, okay, son, you're going into the draft. I support you. You know yeah. what I mean? Yeah, yo. But like, or maybe Shaq thinks yeah. maybe he needs one more year of school. I don't know. Yeah, but the funny thing is, like, you know, like, sure, like, um, his son like hasn't really, you know, had like a big role on the team that he played for in college. You know, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like his stats aren't really there. It's that of a bench. Or player. maybe, or maybe that's what Shaq maybe was trying to tell him, like, you need to like step up your game type thing. You know? Yeah. So Before like going in. Yeah, so yeah. even though he signed a summer league deal, like he's probably not NBA ready yet as of now. No, but De- if well, anything, it depends. I'm pretty sure if like he does perform well in the summer league. Yes. He could probably make he like like probably go to G League after that, no, instead of going to the NBA right away. Yeah, for sure. And plus the G League play pays pretty well now. So uh, if he's okay with that for now until like the NBA calls him up, you never know too, right? Yeah. So whatever they give you at that at that time. Exactly. You know, he can always get like a two way somewhere. Yeah, exactly. But yeah. but if anything, just say he um he was undrafted because he went in and no one selected him. Can you go in the draft again next year? No. Nah. You say no? Nah? I don't think so, no. Well, you can only go in it once? Yeah. That's that's fucked up. Yeah, I don't think, yeah, you can re No, like I understand like if yeah. you did get picked, obviously you're not gonna be in the next year. But at least have, like, because what happens if, you like, he did go back to school and grind and then come back into the draft? He still can't do that? I don't think so, no. No, that's weird, man. Yeah, I think, like, once you declare for the draft, like, it's kind of like, you know. like a hit or miss? It's almost like, you know, purchasing a ticket, you know? it's No, no, but that's what I mean. It's a hit or miss. It's 50-50 chance. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So then what happens after that? Hmm. We'll just have to see what happens, you know, see how he does in the summer league. Or maybe Shaq was right the whole time, my guy. Yeah. So it's like him taking a, he's basically taking a gamble on himself. Yep. He did. Yeah. Uh, the guy that the Raptors signed, was he, is he any good? Oh, wait. Who we drafted, right? Yeah. Well, sorry. In the who second drafted, round, Chris, Christian signed, Coloco. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I've seen his highlights. He's actually nice. So it's actually like a big man, no? That's what Yeah, we, a big man, a center. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, like let me let me check out um But is he actually signed with us or is he going to G League? Oh no, like we actually draft him. He's with us. I'm pretty oh, sure like we're us. gonna develop him with okay. the nine oh five. Like how we usually do with our young talent, but yeah. Except for like because we didn't bring Scotty Barnes to the Raptors nine oh five. Oh no, no, because he was a top draft pick. He was a top five draft pick. Oh, so pick. usually like so so you're saying usually the second round picks usually go to G League? Yeah, yeah, like the lower picks. Oh, okay. We only yeah. got one man? We only got one man in the draft? I believe so, yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Because, you know, we were a playoff team. We didn't really I thought need they said more they picked up draft, another like... guy or something. I forgot what the other guy was from. I don't know. Someone posted something saying how they picked up somebody else. Mm, I haven't seen any other guys who we picked up in the draft other than Christian Coloco. Or maybe, like, I don't know if the other guy, the second guy was from a draft. I don't know if they picked him up from somewhere else. I don't know. Yeah, but like, um, yeah, but when you check, you can, you should check out his highlights when you get a chance, bro. Like, yeah, Arizona, right? I yeah, think yeah, for played? Arizona yeah, Wildcats, I believe. Yes. That's, yeah. Like the man, like he's a pretty decent scorer 
hell of a shot blocker, can rebound. And yeah, of course, he's tall he's, and lanky too, right? Yeah, tall and lanky. Yeah, I'm like, you know, he kind of giving me like Biombo vibes from 2016. Yeah, because I seen um, when they posted someone in the comments, they said they, they better um, train him like Biombo. So yeah, yo, like, and plus he's taller, seven foot, two hundred thirty pounds. He's seven two. No, seven foot, seven oh, feet, seven foot, seven oh, yeah, seven yeah, two hundred thirty yeah. pounds, yeah. Oh. And he's Cameroonian, just like Siakam. So that's another Cameroonian. Yeah, because I've seen them brother. post photos. I don't know if it was from before the draft or <clears throat> I don't know. They posted like photos. They were like chilling or something. Yeah, yo, like you, you have someone from the same country on your team now. Like, yo, gets no better than that. Exactly. So we'll see how this goes, right? So Yeah, yo, but yeah, but I do like that. I do like the draft pick for Christian Coloco, you know? But do you think they'll still go after a center, like an actual legit center? I don't think so, no. You, so you don't uh, think we're not going to go after anybody? Nah, because, like, you know, we have P Precious Achua who can play center. And this, yes. yeah, and Coloco but, who we just drafted, why do we need to go after a center now? Okay, then who are we going to go after in the offseason? Nobody? Well, we have to see who, what we need to get out there, you know? Because basically, if the Raptors, I don't know, to me, I always think they always wait for, like, um, the last people that are out there for some reason. Yeah. But, like, who do you think we actually need right now that the Raptors can get in the I don't know. Like, if we didn't draft a center, I obviously think we should have went after, like, to go after one. Yeah. Because I heard, like, there was also, like, rumors how we were supposed to get, my, uh, what was it, Turner? Yeah, Miles Pacers. Turner from Indiana. Yeah, so I don't know if that's actually going to happen. Like, I know it's rumors. It would be nice. Yeah. It would be a good pickup. Yeah, but, but, like, they want OG Ananobi, and the Raptors ain't trying to And then to I that. also heard OG Ananobi was supposed to be going to the Blazers, but the Blazers actually drafted uh, somebody or something like that. Yeah. Yeah, that's what somebody was saying at work. They said um, the Raptors were supposed to give away, like, OG for the Blazers pick and then some other thing or yeah. something, but it didn't go through. So as soon as the Blazers actually pick somebody in the draft, <sighs> that means OG was staying over here. Yeah, I know. I've heard rumblings about, you know, trade rumors regarding OG and Anobi. I'm like, and I yeah, heard... Yeah, because all I seen was OG... His name and in Blazers, OG and Blazers. Yeah. I'm like, why would he go there? Exactly. And why would we trade him there? Trade him there for what? Exactly. Like, are we getting Dame? If we ain't getting Dame, sorry. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> no, I wouldn't but, give up OG and an Obi, and an Obi for Dame. No, uh, I'm just saying like in general, like, because like, we're not like, who are we going to get from them anyways? And then I also heard uh, Danny Green is not on Philly anymore. Yeah, I think he's a free agent now. Yeah. No, he said something about someone said Memphis. Oh, he signed with Memphis, or he got traded there. Yeah, I guess that's what the comments were saying. They're like, "Have fun in Memphis." Really? No, let me look this up. Yeah, that's what the comments were saying, bro. Because because Danny Green on his yep. said farewell to Philly. Yeah. Okay. So yeah, he did get um. Yeah, he got traded to that. I just found out. Yeah, he got traded to Memphis, along with draft rights to David Rudy, for Dion De Anthony Melton. Yeah, De Anthony Melton. Okay. Or Melton. I don't know how to say yeah, it. Yeah, Melton, Melton. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I know him. Like, yeah, Danny Green, I know. He's getting older on the decline. and But I think, yeah, it, it is a good acquisition for Memphis. That's a contender right now. They could use no, a veteran because, like, like Danny even Green. Even if he comes off the bench and he can still shoot threes. Yeah, he can still Grizzlies, shoot the three pretty well, you know? Yep. And yeah, the Grizzlies so, yeah, did I think pretty it's a good well last year, for too, Memphis. So. Yeah. And, like, and Memphis, yeah. the, um, Memphis did actually pretty well, so... Yeah, definitely, you know, and, um, you know, I feel like their time is definitely coming. They'll still be a contender next season as well. They'll be oh, in yeah. the mix for a championship. In, like, the next couple of years, yes. Yeah, and plus, you know, John Morant just got to be healthy, so, yeah. As long as he can stay healthy, bro, then it'll be good to watch, so. Yeah. <clears throat> Shit, man, my freaking throat. <laughs> freak, man, my freaking throat, man. I got to drink some tea, yo. I've had some yes. phlegm. It's still in my throat. <laughs> But yeah, let me go over the draft though. The number one pick was Paolo Bancaro. It's spelled That's Banchero, Orlando, but right? they say Bancaro. Yeah, but Orlando Magic, power forward. Yeah. Yes. I seen his highlights. You know, he's pretty nice. You know, like. But are these are these top drafts? Are they like hype? Like as last year, like last year's draft? Like how yeah, it seems it was pretty. Him? Yeah, it seems pretty hype. You know, so far for last year. Well, like the top to ten, year. you mean? Or the like the top five? Yeah, like the top five, yeah. 
Oh, okay. The top okay. five draft picks. I'm talking, yeah. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, and plus like yo, Paolo Banchero, um, Ban. I don't know what else. I don't know why they say Banchero. Like it's spelled with a C H. I'm gonna just say Banchero. I don't know if I'm butchering the name or not. It don't sound like I'm butchering the name. <laughs> just butchering my guy. But what's it called? Like he's actually um American Italian. Oh really? Yeah, of your heritage, of your background. And that was the number one pick you said. Yeah, the number one pick for Orlando Magic. Yeah. Wow. Well, hopefully, he doesn't turn into another Bargnani. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but where um, is he now? Yeah, in but Primo he's actually pasta commercials. Yeah. Primo pasta. <laughs> <laughs> but like, like, what's it called? Like, he's actually born in Seattle. He got Italian um citizenship because, like, um, you know, half of his family is Italian. Like, his mother's side is Italian, while his dad is african-american so he's mixed and he wants to like represent italy and um yep for like what's it called for like international play so yeah so that's why he it says he's american italian because he got the citizenship for it and speaking of that mix yeah (laughs) um i found a place i was like on instagram yeah and then there's a place in kesington market in toronto it's called rasta pasta rasta pasta so it's mixed with jamaican food and italian food yeah. Yo, it's like jerk chicken lasagna and like stuff like that. Yo, it looks proper. Oh, so it's basically a Jamaican Italian restaurant. Yeah, it's both. Yeah. That's both. sick, it's, yo. Like you could still obviously get Jamaican food and Italian food. Yeah. But there's like a menu where it's like mixed together. It's mixed both. Yeah. Both different cultures in yeah, one dish. Yo, That's crazy. Yo, it looks it looks delish. That shit's making me hungry. I didn't really eat much today. <laughs> <laughs> but um, yeah, after the gram, if you want to search it up. Just okay. Sort of look at it, like yo, it looks pretty sick. It's in Toronto, bro. Okay, yeah. Whenever I'm in Toronto, whenever I'm I'm in town, I'll definitely like to check it out when I have the chance. You're telling me, bro, like it sounds like really good. Yeah, yo. Rasta Pasta. That's a dope name. Rasta Pasta on IG. Rasta so, Pasta. So Paolo Banchero, number one draft pick, power forward. And num the number two pick is Chet Holmgren, who was drafted by OKC. Who? okay see okay yeah 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 there's been like some hype about him like um he was like kind of like joking months ago saying like oh he plans to be the best nba player in the league by the yeah, time we'll he gets see. there we'll see about that you mean like the best rookie or you mean like the best player in the league like well kind of like both but like he did kind of like you know take those comments back saying like yo i'm not to be taken seriously and whatever so yeah not taken seriously yeah well like he actually is pretty nice i saw his highlights at gonzaga the dudes have yeah. been the dudes are walking double double who can actually space the floor shoot the three well and block hella shots but okay yep. but but he's very skinny what do you mean skinny like skinny like, like the dude's seven feet tall not even 200 pounds so you mean like skinny like kevin durant skinny when he came to the league more like less than kevin durant skinny Less than that? That's how he's that's how skinny he is, bro. Well, he's gonna have to hit the gym, my guy. Yeah, yo. So I know like everyone's already criticizing his weight, and he's also aware of that too. But like he did say Yeah, but if he doesn't have muscle on right now, bro, that's bad. Yeah, I know. Yeah, because definitely. He, he can be like more fragile if someone hits him. That's it. Yeah, I know. Like, yeah, definitely. Like he's very frail, you know. But yeah. of course, you know, like in the NBA, he's gonna have to bulk up, and I'm pretty sure. He's aware well, of Well, yeah, he's going to have to. Yeah, but he did say that, yo, it don't look like it, but I love to eat. I still eat food. <laughs> well, that's like me saying I love to eat and it does look like I eat. Yeah, so. <laughs> basically. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Don't kill me. Don't kill yeah, me. Yeah, yo. So, yeah, Chet, Chet Holmgren. Yeah, number two draft pick, you know, and he definitely got the what, Did you post the nice. top five of the draft? Yeah, I posted no? the top five of who's going to win. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, like in who, order uh, you posted? Yeah. Oh, okay, yeah. Yeah, yeah, the top five that yeah, I you don't that watch the post, man. You don't watch the exactly. post, man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so yeah, he's going to have to bulk up. Just like Giannis yeah. when he came into the league. Remember mm-hmm. how skinny he was? And then yeah. over time, he bulked up, became the Greek freak and shit like that. Yes. And became arguably like the best player in the league, won a championship, multiple MVPs. Yes, downtown Sudbury. Yeah. Yeah. So that's kind of like you know the potential I see in Chet Holmgren. You know if he okay. continues okay. to bulk up and build up his body. Okay, sir. Yeah, you can't be seven feet tall, one ninety five pounds in the NBA. You got to be seven feet two hundred something. Two twenty. Bro, I weigh more than him, and I'm like six. 
<laughs> Man said 195. I know, foot. yo, he's a whole foot taller than me, and I weigh like 170 ish. Fuck, I wish those were the days. Those were the days, <laughs> my guy. I'm 200 plus right now. <laughs> 200 uh, plus, but it's just this. It's just the dad bod, my guy. That's yeah. about it. <laughs> so yeah. you can you can basically play rugby. Yeah, in your shape. I got. I got the dad hat on to match the dad bod. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and you don't have no picnic yet. <laughs> and no picnic yet. And no picnic yet. No. <laughs> oh, yeah. I'm no, dad bod and I have no picnic yet. <laughs> That's okay. That's life, man. Eat and eat. <laughs> <laughs> True, yo. Gotta eat, man. <laughs> Gotta eat. Gotta eat the rasta pasta. Nah, I'm, <laughs> I'm definitely going to try that out. Definitely going to try that out. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm going to try it out, too, whenever I get the chance. Yeah, I'm on. So, yeah, the third pick, Jab- Jabari The Smith third pick Jr. in the overall draft. Yep, drafted for, by Houston. Yo, he's really, really nice. I've seen his highlights. He's a yeah. 6'10 power forward, 220 pounds. Like, he's arguably the best shooting player. Of the top if, five? Of the yeah, top in the five? top five. Yeah, like, yo, even as a big... This guy is lights out from three point range, bro. Are they all big in the top five? Yeah, yo, like, well, four of the top five draft picks are bigs. Oh, wow. Seriously? Yeah, yo, so, yo, the bigs are taking over. Big men are, the big men is definitely becoming more as important as guards now. Well, I'd hope so, but I just don't want to see more big men shooting threes. I'd rather see them go in the paint, you know? Nah, Steph Curry changed the game. No, Big men have to like shoot for, three now. <laughs> no, I'm saying for like, I'm like, uh, like obviously Steph Curry is going to be shooting threes. Yeah. But I want like the big man to be like more dominant, like in the paint. Like you don't need to be, oh, yeah, I'm going to be shooting the three to be like Steph Curry. Like you're yeah, a big I man know, for I get, a reason. I, I get what you mean. But I yeah, think, but, but you're I a big like man it's... for a reason, bro. You don't need to be shooting threes. But if they can, why not? No, Let if you can, you can. Yeah. But I'm saying you shouldn't be dependent on the three. I mean, I wouldn't say they're depending on their three. It's just I'm that just they're shooting general, adds sir. to their skill set. Yes, I know, but they I'm don't just have saying... to limit themselves to just being in the paint. Come on, sir. No, I'm <laughs> saying like, yeah, you could be doing. I don't know. To me, if you're a big man, you shouldn't be shooting like that many threes. I don't know. That's just me. Yeah. Like, uh, like growing up watching Shaq and shit. What he only has like one three pointer. Yeah. I think. Yeah. Like I don't know. Shaq was a was well, was obviously not going to be another Shaq, but he's like just a beast. Anyways. Oh, yeah, definitely. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. It just goes to show how much the game has changed, you know? No, no. Yeah, that's what I mean. Like, it would be nice to see it, like, go back to that for a while instead of just, yeah, let me just shoot a three from half court. Nah, I feel like if it were just to go back and big men were just in the paint and not shooting the threes, it's, like, kind of regurgitating the well, old era of the Well, you still had, like, Wiggins NBA. dunk over uh, Moza Luka. That, yeah. that was a nice dunk. Oh, which way? Who dunked over Luka? Wiggins over Luka. Yeah. Like that was like when they were facing each other in the Western Conference. Oh yeah, that was a nice. That's like a oh, poster, bro. Oh that's yeah, for sure, you. But yo, <laughs> Jabari Smith Jr. Like yo, you should check out this guy's highlights, bro. Okay, sir. Yeah, like okay, and so check yeah, out the like he's tapes. a he's check a crazy mixtapes. Yeah, yo, freaking and one needs to bring back the mixtapes, bro. Yeah, for real. But like yo, this guy, the dude's mm-hmm. nineteen years old, born two thousand three. This guy. Like, yo, LeBron basically been in the league since this dude was born, bro. <laughs> Holy shit. Yeah, yo, it goes to show how much we're getting old. That's the year that's I the started watching or that's basketball. The that's the third or the fourth? Third pick, yeah. Third pick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. By like, Houston. Yo, Houston, you said Houston. Yeah, yeah, drafted by Houston, and he's straight out of Auburn. So, like, this guy, I feel like he could win rookie of the year. Like, he's actually crazy with it. Okay, sir. So, you're keeping yeah. your word to that. And I saw one poster dunk that he did in his highlights. It was crazy. Teammates had their hands on their heads. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> oh, my God. You got to check it out. I got to send it no. to you. No. And this guy can block shots, rebound. And, yeah, like I said, shoot the ball, lights out, even as a big. Okay, sir. I'll take yeah. your word. And, of course, the fourth pick, Keegan Murray. Power the forward. Fourth pick out of, of, the over, of the 2022 draft. Drafted by the Sacramento Kings. So the Kings recruiting more young talent. But I don't okay. get Kings, Yeah, but okay. like it's kind of weird how they what's it called? Um traded away um a couple of their young talent for for Sabonis or whatever. Talis uh, Halliburton oh, or whatever. Yeah, 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 yeah. 
Okay, yep. Yeah, but yeah, they're still drafting more young talent, you know? But I don't he, know. I can't, like, even though, like, after Sabonis got traded, I can't yeah. really see him on another team. Yeah, I think, yeah, I feel like he'll stay on Sacramento for now. No, I mean, like, I could still picture him in Indiana because that's the team I got drafted for. Oh, yeah, 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 for 2K, Cause, yeah. Because still, still in 2K, he's still my teammate. Yeah, I know, crazy. <laughs> I haven't been, really been playing 2K lately, bro. <laughs> and then they finally made me, like, the captain, but I'm like, yo, like, how am I still dropping 40, 50 points a game and we're still losing? Yeah, like, I'm trade like, bro, me man, already. I'm to step up. <laughs> <laughs> Like, it can't be the player of the game every game, and then we're still losing. Exactly, yeah, yo. But, yeah, but I've seen Keegan Murray's highlights as well. Like, dude's a very good scorer. Average yeah. 23 points per game, can rebound and block mm-hmm. shots. Very explosive. And, yeah, he's a six eight power forward, 225 pounds. So, like, he's actually nice with it. Okay. Okay, and, Steve, you know you, you know your shits. Uh, yeah, yeah, yo, big the research, my guy. K-Day and, Miller. K.D. Yeah. Miller. K.D. <laughs> Miller. <laughs> and draft. Oh, yeah. The fifth draft pick, Jaden Ivey, shooting guard, drafted by the Pistons. That sounds like a sick name regardless. For real. Jersey's, the J, Jersey's especially the Jaden. Yeah. Jersey's going to be selling out. Yeah. It got a catch to it. Jaden Ivey. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah. He's a 6'4", 195 pound shooting guard. This, yo, you should see his highlights, man. Crazy. Like, Who do you get drafted by again? Sorry? Detroit Pistons. Detroit. Okay. Detroit Wood. Detroit, what? Three, no, 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 hold on, hold on, hold on. What? Three, one, three. What? <laughs> no, let me play the clip. Let me play the clip. <laughs> Detroit, what? Detroit, what? Okay, thank you, sir. Detroit, babies. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. Copyright, copyright, copyright. We do not own it. We do not own it. Don't worry. <laughs> but, yeah, I was going to say, Jaden Ivey, like, yo, you have to check out his highlights. The bad yeah. athleticism and speed is crazy. Like, he got the speed of De'Aaron Fox, the athleticism of a young Derrick Rose in his prime, but with the swagger of a John Morant. Okay. okay. Yeah, like, bro, fast as fuck can make acrobatic layer layups, hit game winners and shit. Like, the dude's crazy. Wait, didn't what's-his-name go to um, Detroit as well? Oh, who? what's-his-name? You're talking about the next pick that they had? No, not the next pick. Someone, because uh, Kembo Walker, um, he... He got signed by somebody else. Oh, okay. I forgot who it was. Yeah. Guy, no, I, because all I, I, what, um, oh, nah, as of now, oh, yeah. Yeah, like, as of now, like, he's still with the Knicks. I know there's like a reported trade that happened. I'm not sure what happened still. I need to check Google. Yeah, it said, um, the, it said a day ago, Pistons acquire Kemba Walker from the Knicks. Oh, yeah. Oh, and a trade with the Hornets. Whoa, that's interesting. Oh. Oh, wow. So, yeah, I had no idea Kemba Walker got traded to Yeah, but, like, I don't Detroit. know. He's been on, like, a lot of teams already. I like, guess he's going to be the backup point guard since they got Kate Cunningham. <laughs> yeah, so we'll see what happens there, right? Yeah. So. But, yo, there's less than a minute on a the minute, damn yep. count- countdown, so we have to come back in for take two. <laughs> 